What's going on guys, 23C Town here, and today is Friday the 13th, which means, being Friday, it is Zer Day. Zer is located, I think, over in the far right over here today. Um, I did see a couple pictures of what he has for sale. I will be disappointed, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have the gear he has for sale will be happy. Zer is located in the far right, the bottom portion of the hangar. Let's see what he has. Items belong to the Nile, not me. The Helm of Inmost Light, this is for a Titan class. Um, I would say this is better maybe for PV, PvP. Uh, it gives you Death from Above and Headstrong for Titan. Uh, 97 is a decent stat roll on it for strength. It's alright, helmet. Uh, Crest of Alpha Lupe. Alpha Lupe. No, this is for the 100 class. Revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs, carry more special, and carry more ammo for hand cannons. It's, got, it's actually got a decent stat roll for strength at 143. Um, reviving teammates faster. I feel like that'll only be beneficial for group play, whether it's 2v2, 3v3, or running strikes. Light Beyond Nemesis for the Warlock. Uh, it's a decent helmet. Basically the same thing as the Crest of Alpha Lupi, except it's just a helmet. Uh, the only difference is this thing, you replenish health when you pick up an orb. So if you don't already have a perk on your Raid Helmet, or don't have any other helmets that do that for you, this is decent for the Kuroda's Hard Mode. And the icebreaker. Um, this is probably one of the, the best, one of the best, I'd say PVE snipers. PVP is decent. Um, I would prefer something with more stability over for PVP. PVE wise, I'd say the only thing that might have a case for argument would be the black hammer. Do I actually? Yeah, I actually have the black hammer. This the black hammer has more. Oh wait, I can just. Do this. Black Hammer having more impact and better stability. But the regening your six ammo is probably one of the best perks you can have. And the exact shards like usual and no Ingrams this week. And then the upgrades this week you have the knucklehead radar. Uh decent. I probably prefer another helmet. Probably, I think it's the Echophage Symbiote. That's probably one of the better ones. You have the Crest of. Oh. So basically, if you buy the Crest, you can just upgrade it to have a better stat roll. This is 143 strength, upgradable. This is 159. And he's got the helmet too. When this is 121, you can buy it for 104 and then upgrade it to 121. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but then in the end, there's not much logic with Zer. Uh, Crest of Alpha Lupe for the Titan. Uh, 129. This is basically the same thing as the chest for the Hunter. You can revive teammates faster and spawn more orbs. For the Warlock, we have the Apotheos Veil. Uh, I, this is probably one of my personal favorites to run when running Crota's hard mode. Just the fact activating super and picking up an orb replenishes your health. Since there's no other way to regen unless you have a gun, but. This is probably one of the best armor pieces you can wear. And the Sunbreakers, as people who are Warlocks know, this is probably the... Zer's one of either upgrading or always selling this for the Warlock. So, stat roll could be a little better. Uh, the Discipline, actually, I never said an Apotheos fail. That's actually 108. That's that's a decent at best. The Sunbreakers, um, it could be better. Guns, you have the last word. Icebreaker, which I would just buy instead of getting an upgrade, I think. Patience and Time, Super Good Advice, Yalahorn, which I know a lot of people who are kind of upset to see it here instead of here. And Truth. Mm, so, decent guns. 
Uh, for Curios, you have scout rifle telemetry, hand cannon telemetry, fusion rifle telemetry, plasma drive, emerald coil, and heavy. Oh, wait, there's no heavy ammo sins. I guess Zer doesn't want to sell these anymore. So, I think it's been almost four or five weeks since the last time he sold them. So, I'm starting to run a little bit low, but maybe he'll bring it back eventually. So, that's pretty much Zer in a nutshell for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please stay tuned for more content. I will be uploading My some hard mode gameplay train. of Crota, whether it's me carrying a sword or just defeating Crota. So stay tuned to that. Until next time, thanks for watching.